Hello, my name is David Malinsky. I'm going to speak to you today about the Facebook Beehive Colony Group. I'm going to uh, go on to the website here and answer a few questions that have come up a couple of times from some different people and may have come up as a question from you. First off, we're going to take a look at uh, after you've become a member of the group and finding the group later when it's not showing up in your highlights bar. You can always go to groups within your uh, your own Facebook page by looking down at the bottom left corner. You click on the little two people shaded group uh, symbol. Then you'll see a list of all of your individual groups. If you're not seeing the Beehive Colony group right away, click on your recently updated groups and see all and then scroll down you should find it fairly easily then you can either click on the name of the beehive colony group or the picture of the bees working away on their beehive that'll take you to the beehive colony page now posting as a queen bee when you're posting as a queen bee, you want to select the day that your letter matches. My name starts with D for David, so my day is Thursday. If your name perhaps started with a C for charity, then your day would be Wednesday. Now if you don't see the day of the week right away on the discussion board, because it only shows three, you can click on the See All page. And then you'll see every one of the days, as well as our Success Stories page. So you select the day of the week that your first letter belongs to. In my case, Thursdays. And then at the bottom of the page, you'll find a reply box. All you have to do is type in your posting, your reply, in the form of the statement for what you're looking for as a queen bee. To respond to this is where we're having a little bit of challenge because everybody's used to the open board concept where you simply click reply to your post. We don't want to do that here. We want only the queen bees postings to be showing on that particular day. So to respond, rather than click on reply to your post, click on the face of the queen bee that has just posted. Click on the face of the person. I'm going to click on Dean Ozen here who uh, wrote a, a, a message. What you'll then see is the photo of the person and below that photo will be send message. Send that person a message. If you click on that link, send Dean a message, you will get a subject line and a message. Now you can be specific about sharing your honey, sharing your nectar, sharing your contact with the individual queen bee. This way, you're not having to share off contact information that may be sensitive uh, because you're still communicating with the individual that uh, has the contact that you think that person can use. And it has the added benefit of not plugging up the chat board, taking a chat board approach, and uh, permitting only the queen bees to be seen that will allow very fast scanning very fast update for anybody else looking to see if there's something or someone they can help this way when they go to go to the particular day for the queen bees in the beehive colony they'll only be seeing the requests of the queen bees I know that there's a very great desire to express gratitude and thanks 
and uh, uh, connectivity between everybody and that's a common thing that happens on the chat boards um, what we've done is we've added a success stories board section so then you can express your gratitude and tell your success story about whatever's happened since your response to your Queen Bee post. So definitely everybody share your success stories, absolutely. However, let's leave the Monday through Friday section as being strictly for the Queen Bees. Thank you everybody and enjoy playing on Beehive Colony.